Zion's Heartbeat. It's the first thing on the album. And I, we decided a long time ago and I went in the uh, in doctor and record and played to them. They're, oh, this is cool. And I don't know if it's really changed. I think it's like I'm less suicide kind of, you know, I'm more mellow and I'm more uh, concerned about raise my, my son and and work with Sepultura a lot, you know, which is my priority in life today. It's it's more important to me than, than destroy myself. So, you know, I like that. It's cool. It work, it's going to work out good. And, you know, I'm very happy to have Zion. It's not an accident. I was looking forward to have a son. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a great kid. And he's not getting in the way of the band. He's still, I'm still doing the same or better with him than I was if I was without him. <laughs> Process. No pressure. Yeah, even everybody thought we have that pressure to do a good album and stuff, you know, because of of our eyes, you know, being so successful. I, we didn't feel that that much pressure. We did what we wanted to. It, it felt really good. Now listen back, it's a lot of different changes, and every musician has his limits, knows his limits. My voice is it's pretty much that's what it is, you know. It's like I'm not trying to to be what I can't, so I really focus on my on my style, at least, you know, the whole band is pretty much sound and original. comes a lot from the from the touring and uh, it's not really that we wrote stuff on touring it's more that we we see a lot of things and uh, travel a lot in different countries which give us a lot of knowledge to talk about different topics so mainly on lyrics and stuff we learn a lot from touring and music um, I think we, we write some stuff we started in Brazil and then uh, we wrote a little bit on tour and then we finish up in Phoenix. So three different places, you know, where the music was created. But mainly it was done in Phoenix when we spent the last six months. I think the, the influence of Brazil, for example, Sepultura is like, we were born with that, you know, and it doesn't matter, I think, if we are born even in another country. There's, there's some stuff that's inside of you and, and there's you know there's people with, with the same thought as us in different countries and stuff and uh, I think we can be living in Jamaica or India and will still be part of us because it's inside of us the way we think and the way we play and it comes across really strong on music stronger than any other you know real hard to see any of us getting pissed off and and uh, getting pretty violent in normal life, kind of. But you, you see us getting into that mood live. The whole band will work like that, you know. We get really Release. weird yeah. on stage. And be like sometimes bizarre that people look like, wow, those guys are getting it's pretty pissed off, you know, look at that. And and it's just only a, a show thing, you know, in fact, like, like the, the music that we, that we do and the lyrics. Bring that. Bring that when we're playing live. And, and the audience feels the same, so they got the exchange of energy too.
think this time in the studio was the, the very first time that we we decided to do a lot of different stuff and just try out and get silly sometimes and then and deal with and see and, and a lot of things instead of get silly they would come out really good that was the plan with Andy Wallace the way I approach it and it seems to have worked out was to get them to really record live to uh, encourage them in the past they would uh, put down tracks and then overdub this and overdub that and I said well look you know I want the whole band to perform as a band but not just for uh, reference tracks so that we can get the drum track and such I want everybody really playing as a band obviously uh, this we wanted to maintain the opportunity to go back and change something or alter something but the point is I wanted them to truly be playing as a band so we rehearsed and, and did our basic track with that in mind and consequently a great deal of the actual live performance that was recorded at the basic track is present in the in the record and uh, there were other things such as uh, Max for instance is uh, he was quite willing and eager to uh, stand up in front of a microphone with a pop screen and, and sing like that, but it turned out that it worked much better having him sing as he would on stage, where he just takes the mic and addresses it and puts it right up to his mouth. So we used a mic that, uh, that worked for that and uh, didn't use headphones. We, uh, I just had speakers, a monitor speaker as he would on stage, just like a wedge on stage, blasting up at him pretty loud and created a live environment, or as close to a live environment as we could, as far as the sound and the feeling of it. It's more band than ever. It's like guitar, two guitars, vocals, drums, and bass. And then we didn't get any real help from machines or samples or anything like that. And that, and that was the plan. And it's cool because sometimes you might get the vibe of an industrial song, you could, but yeah. it will be made by us. It will be a guitar really like paranoid sounding really noisy with the drums and the, the bass going, you know, like with tribal beats and stuff. To be separate through against yeah. the machine. <laughs> be surprised when they heard the acoustic song you know which is really different biotech. yeah they'll be surprised but biotech is godzilla which is jello biafra lyrics and it's it's more in a kind of like a dead kennedy's territory the lyrics but the music it's pl pretty much a fast sepulture song but real short it's, it's less than two minutes <laughs> The rest of the things that are gonna surprise people, I think, is just the fact that the music's more simple instead of being more complicated. And it's... It's more aggressive. Yeah. At the same time that it's less fast, it's, it is more... Aggressive, yeah. it's, it's more mean. I don't know, it, it's just because... Maybe because we did more simple, it becomes easier to, to be more aggressive. And I think, I really want to listen to songs and it's like some parts of the songs, I can picture the whole like crowd, like a huge riot in front of me, like, you know, in a good way. So did you, <laughs> did you kind of write them thinking of, of playing them live and thinking of yeah, them? Yeah, some of them, some of the riffs was really like, we were thought, oh, this riff, 
I think when play live, this part is gonna be really chaos. <laughs> That's what got the name of the album to me, Chaos AD. Well, I'm just people that don't want to be